Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'm with the University of Ottawa Laboratory for Paleoclimatology and also with Carleton University Department of Geography and Environmental Studies. Now, in the last few videos, I've talked about the Arctic sea ice and snow cover declining exponentially. So the Arctic sea ice is not forming properly this winter because there's these large incursions of very, very warm, humid air from further south in uh, either from the Pacific or from the Atlantic sides. So in this video, I'm going to show you, I'll, I'll show you the development that's happened in the Arctic, but I'm going to focus a little bit on the Southern Hemisphere and show you how uh, jet streams are encroaching on Antarctica. So, the, so at the surfaces, at the coastlines of Antarctica in some regions, we're getting very, very warm air and it's bringing, in fact, above zero temperatures on some of the coastlines. So I'm going to talk about that. But the main emphasis of this video is to talk in detail about the jet streams. I'm going to use lots of diagrams and I'm going to explain the ridges and the troughs and how they develop and some other features of the jet streams because you'll hear a lot more about jet streams moving forward because they're, they're the key thing which controls these weather extremes that are occurring around the planet. I mean, let's face it, we're getting really bizarre weather around the planet, and I'm gonna explain how in great detail um, by talking about the jet streams. So first I'm getting the lights to uh, increase the contrast. So check out my Facebook page, um, Paul Beckwith on Facebook. Um, also follow me on Twitter, Paul H. Beckwith, and uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, so this is my uh, Facebook page here, and I just, somebody sent me this. Um, if the Dow Jones ever falls more than a thousand points in a single day, the sitting president should be loaded into a very big can and shot into the sun at tremendous speed, you know, from February 25th. But, you know, it's probably fake news. Some people are saying this is fake, sadly fake, but so believable. So. You know, in 2017, the Dow just went up basically linearly, and there's there's no, um, you know, while the environment is dropping exponentially the other way, there's just, uh, you know, I mean, they, it looks like the days of reckoning are coming for the Dow Jones right now. But anyway, that's another video, another issue. So, Climate Reanalyzer, if you go to Climate Reanalyzer, and look at the daily summary, click on the daily summary. Here we have the two meter temperature. Uh, let's look at the temperature anomaly. So right now we've got, you can see, this'll be where the, the trough of the jet stream is, a ridge here, a trough here. You can kind of track it around the surface. Look how warm parts of the Arctic are, up to 30 degrees Celsius, warmer than normal. And again, just clicking on here, um, you can see where the warm areas are, um, you know, the Arctic again, and you can see where the colder areas are. Okay, we'll go down to the Southern Hemisphere. Very, very warm here. Lots of precipitation, lots of flooding. Um, Antarctica has some very, very warm areas here. Okay, uh, 10 to 20 degrees Celsius, warmer than normal. Okay, uh, the whole Arctic, plus three degrees Celsius, warmer than normal. Antarctica, almost plus 1.9 degree Celsius, warmer than normal. Um, you can see the uh, sea temperatures here. You can see why there's a lot of heat waves up here and high humidity, just Australia, because the sea surface temperatures are here. Same thing with New Zealand, lots of uh, weather extremes. This is a Gulf Stream coming up here very warm and then look at the contrast here very very warm sea surface temperatures very very cold sea surface temperatures we're talking about temperatures in the light areas being about six degrees celsius warmer than normal and temperatures in the purple you know four degrees temperature cooler so what's going on here like look at the juxtaposition here it's, a, it's really a battle you know as the gulf stream crosses it's being killed off. Now it brings tremendous amounts of heat to, um, to Europe. So it looks like we're still having problems with, uh, you know, we do have to be concerned about this brittle overturning circulation uh, halting. Um, 
So we can continue to look, you know, at other areas. Look right over here. We've got very, very high temperatures, enormous temperatures here, and uh, so on. So have a look at this. Um, the jet streams you can see, but it's really only showing the streaks here. So we have, <coughs> you know, Earth Null School is much better for that. Um, what else can I talk about? Let's go, let's find Africa here. And let's look at the precipitation and clouds. Well, Cape Down's still out of luck here. You know, the moisture's coming across much higher. Precipitable water. Again, look how, look how low the precipitable water is down here in South Africa, you know, Cape Town. Talking about a city of 3.74 million people about to run out of water. Um, think of, uh, you know, the economic implications of that, not just the implications to people's lives, but um, anyway, I talked about Cape Town and, you know, being in huge drought, Paris being flooding and so on. Um, record, uh, you know, high levels in, especially through Paris, through the rivers, the, the Seine. Okay, so this is uh, Earth Null School. Just Google Earth Null School, click on Earth. I'm looking at the air, at the surface, at the temperature, and green is above zero. So let's have a look. So right here, it's 6.2 degrees Celsius, 3.2 degrees. Okay, so look at these very, very warm temperatures here coming all the way up here. So where do you think the jet stream is? There's gonna be a loop coming up here, a very strong ridge penetrating deep into the Arctic. If we look at 250 millibar, but we wanna look at the winds, there we go. We can see this, the jet stream here. So this whirl here, you know, is bringing up this spike of very, very warm, humid air right up into the Arctic. Okay, and we see this, this trough here, which is over North America giving us uh, very, very cold weather. And uh, the jet streams are basically, you know, all over the place here. But let's go back to um, surface and temperatures. Okay, and let's, this is now, so let's, uh, you know, go back a couple days and see what's going on, see how this thing is developing. So you can see what's happening. Um, it's frozen, I don't know why downloading let's go the other way okay uh, tap the screen give it a kick uh, let's see what's going on my app seems to have just cratered here there we go okay so this is uh, January 30th and we can advance through uh, a day forward at a time and you can see what happens with that green area penetrating deep up into the Arctic um, and this is what it does over the next number of days it retreats a bit advances and so on so I talked about this no detail if we look at three hour increments you can see how it develops over three hour increments okay so remember cold air spilling out of the Arctic means that the Arctic is warming Warm air going up into the Arctic, of course, means the Arctic is warming. The warm air coming up has a lot of water vapor in it. Now, this water vapor brings up a lot of heat, right? You need a lot of energy to evaporate water, so the water vapor is in a higher energy state. That energy, as, the, uh, as it goes into the colder Arctic and that water vapor condenses into clouds, it releases its latent heat, so that brings a lot of heat up into the Arctic. It also displaces uh, colder air. Okay, so we're seeing all of these factors um, in play here. I'm gonna go back to now, and let's look at the Southern Hemisphere. Okay, so let's look at what's going on around uh, Antarctica here. Okay, so what you can see is, I'll shrink it a little bit, okay, so so the green areas here are above zero. So you can see, um, if we look at the jet streams again, go to winds, okay, you can see the waviness and the loopiness here in the southern hemisphere, similar to that in the northern hemisphere. So let's, if we wanna look at the polar vortex, uh, we can go here, not much to see here. It's generally over the, uh, over the winter hemisphere. 
okay it's very broad here covering you know it's not it, it's covering a large part of the southern hemisphere if you like this where it's you know closer to the equator um, so let's go uh, back to 250 and uh, let's go back to surface uh, temperatures okay so you can see these areas where there's cold air coming up let's go back uh, a bit and see what happened and we'll play it forward so go back to uh, about a week or so, January 28th, 26th, okay, so I'm just going to play this uh, forward slowly here and you can see um, what's happening. You can see areas of zero degrees here, but they're not going onto the continent at the moment. Okay, and we can kind of follow this. You can see the strengthening here. You can see the green here coming close to the coast. Uh, touching here at, in the Antarctic Peninsula, okay, which is uh, the northernmost extent of the, of the continent of Antarctica. And let's just play it forward. So we're on the 26th. Okay, so you can do this yourself. I highly advise it and you can look and see what's happening. Okay, so we're still touching here. Green is hitting the uh, Antarctic Peninsula here and it's also coming up here, not quite getting to the coastline. Server down. server down. No, you're not going to do this to me. Huh. Somebody knows I'm doing a movie here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's go back to now. Uh, let's go temperature. Okay, so and let's advance a little bit here. Okay, so that you can definitely see temperatures here, one degree, okay, a couple degrees hitting over the peninsula, Antarctic Peninsula, and you can advance forward. And uh, this is an exercise for you, but I could actually see temperatures above zero on the coastline down in this region. Right now it's uh, slightly below zero. We don't see green there. There we go, we're getting some green over here. Okay, so actually, and this is more, there we go, green down here. Okay, you can zoom in on this, move it around. So there you go, you can see this area here. Okay, you can, let's go back. Okay, so those are areas where the, the actual ice shelf is above zero. And that occurs a few days from now. And there we go, it gets in more intense. And let's see if it comes back here. Okay, so I highly recommend, if you don't play around with Earth Smell School, it's very easy to use, get a lot of information, and you can get a really good feel for how the how the wind patterns are, how the sea level, um, the, the uh, sea, surf, sea surface temperatures, the jet streams, the polar vortex, they we're getting some green over here on the coastline again uh, in the next few days, okay? So here's some green areas. Okay, so the plan is definitely shifting. The jet streams are having a big impact on, on things. Okay, so... <sighs> So in order not to go over, I'm using, I bought this really sophisticated egg timer. Okay, so I've got a few, a few seconds to finish up. So what I'm going to do next video is I'm going to go into a detailed description of the jet streams for you. So, so please um, uh, have a look.